Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to section 9 of the RTS tutorial series. In this section, we will cover making an enemy AI and an enemy team. In this section, we will update our blueprints to allow for multiple teams. We will then make an enemy pawn and begin working on the enemy logic. The logic builds across multiple videos. We will begin with core components that allow the enemy team to work, and then progress to build up more complex systems. As one of the pillars of my community, Chicka Wow Wow has told numerous people, you can learn a lot from a project. A tutorial project like this series, regardless of what the end goal of your personal project is, can be used to gain tools to add to your repertoire as a developer. Even if you have no intent to use all aspects of a project, or are working in another area, you can learn to piece different ideas and different approaches together to learn how components work. There is a lot to learn, such as how game logic works, how refactoring works, how certain nodes work, and just having a sense of accomplishment completing a project. With this in mind, while we're nearing the end of this series, this section is the penultimate section, I want to discuss a change you may have noticed in this series. You may have noticed that I have spent less time explaining certain components in some of the later videos. The reason for this is that we have covered the material already. The only difference is that we're applying the material differently. So I have spent more time explaining the overall logic, rather than covering the nodes themselves like I did earlier. This style will continue. If there is a new node or logic that is not clear, I will spend more time covering it. Whereas, if it is material that we've already covered, especially if you've covered it multiple times, I will gloss over the content somewhat. In other series I am planning, I will use a similar approach. I will explain more at the start, and as a series progresses, there will be less to explain as we are implementing functions or logic made earlier. What I am driving at with this project is not a completed, ready-to-go RTS, but the ability to think and plan out and design a project. Both Chikawawa and I tell the community on Discord that it is about the thought process of being a programmer, learning to solve problems and plan out the solution that are the most important skills to develop. I want to give a quick shout out to Chicka Wow Wow and Angel of Death for their help making this series possible. I also want to give a shout out to my Patreon sponsors like Nemian Games. That said, I look forward to seeing you in this section and hope you have a wonderful day.